when you look at the pictures of uh, Officer Piscina, that he was uh, showing symbols of the Mexican Mafia. He had tattoos that represent the Mexican Mafia. Last year, the gangland-style execution of Balcones Heights police officer Julian Pacina shocked many when it was discovered that Pacina was allegedly associated with the Texas Mexican Mafia. It is still unknown what Pacina's exact ties to the gang were and what led to his murder, but Pacina's slaying put the spotlight back on the Texas Mexican Mafia, which has been involved in several high-profile public executions. The Night Team's Tim Gerber takes a look back at one of the most notorious murders the gang ever committed. Here in San Antonio. The mid to late 1990s were a particularly dangerous time for the Texas Mexican Mafia. An internal power struggle had led to the deaths of several members who were fighting for control of the gang. In charge here in San Antonio was General Robert Beaver Perez. He had become upset that people had stopped paying the gang's 10% tax on drugs and he wanted to send a message. That message came in the form of five gruesome murders inside this home back in 1997 that became known as the West French Place Massacre. Basically, you had uh, some drug dealing going on in this. Uh, house here, mm -hmm. and evidently they weren't paying the dime. Beaver Perez said, We got to do something about that, and we were tied up, duct taped, and uh, shot in the head. Texas Mexican Mafia expert Gabe Morales says the crime was meant to be gruesome, and Perez knew it would send the right message to those who dealt with the gang. They knew that people would see that and would send a message out then to people who uh, might hesitate on paying the, the tax. And as you can probably imagine, uh, a lot of people started paying up after that. This is KSAT 12 News. It's all about money and drugs. KSAT reporter Marilyn Moritz covered the crime and its aftermath. While the massacre generated a wave of publicity and resulted in plenty of heat from local and federal investigators, the killings didn't stop. Pettis ordered hits on two of the French Place killers for talking too much. Robert Pettis didn't like that they were talking about it. And so one of them was found slashed, stabbed rolled up in a blanket side of the road, um, Mexican Mafia style. Fearing they'd be next, other members who took part in the killings turned to police and became witnesses, leading to the prosecution of Perez, who would end up getting a death sentence for the murders of rival gang members in a 1994 shootout, three years before French Place. And enabled them, because of the ones that turned to snitches and helping the authorities um, finger who did what, when, and tie all the pieces together of a bunch of other cases. Robert Beaver Perez remained a general in the gang up until his execution by the state of Texas in 2007. His last words were, quote, I'm ready, warden. I've got my boots on like a cowboy. Our coverage continues online at ksat.com slash mafia. There you'll find an exclusive interview with Marilyn Moritz as she recalls her coverage of the West French Place massacre.